Hello, my name is Marta Lourenço. I work at the University of Lisbon and I am the former chair of ICOM UMAC, the International Committee of ICOM for University Museums and Collections. This series, Zoom In, aims at looking into a particular interesting or impactful project, publication, event in the global university uh, museum community. We dive, we try to dive deeper into the background, the origins, the reasons, and we're especially interested in experiences that not only resonate with university museums worldwide, but that can be exported, transferred, adapted to other geographies and other contexts. In this zoom in, we look into the alliance of university museums in Taiwan, a vibrant network created some years ago. University museums in Taiwan have been very active in the international sphere and particularly in UMAC and ICOM. In the last ICOM general conference in Prague, August 2022, just three months ago, the National Chen Kung University Museum from Taiwan featured prominently. And as far as I know, it was, it was the first university museum ever with an independent booth in an ICOM museum fair. So we want to know what is happening in Taiwan university museums. Are there particular circumstances that make museums and professionals be recognized by the higher education sector? What are their perceived and actual roles in universities and in Taiwanese society? What lessons can other university museums learn? Initially, we invited Ping Cheng Hu, professor of the, University of the History of Architecture and director of the National Cheng Kuk University Museum to help us navigate the landscape of university museums in Taiwan. For personal reasons, he cannot be with us. However, we have Professor Jing Horn Cheng and uh, associate, uh, associate professor in the Department of Sism Systems and Naval Mechatronic <clears throat> Engineering and former NCKU Museum Director. He was actually at the beginning of the formation of this uh, network, the Alliance of um, Taiwan University Museums. Um, but there are more people here. Uh, thank you so much. Um, Yang Shuan for being with us today. And it's really a delight to see you again after so many months, I think, maybe even years because of COVID. And I'm very grateful that you accepted our invitation. And I would ask you to introduce your colleagues and let's start understanding what's happening in uh, the scene of university museums in Taiwan. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, it's nice to meet you online. Sorry, I couldn't make it this year to uh, attend the ICOM in Prague, uh, but I still miss all of you very much. Let me introduce uh, my colleagues, uh, Dr. Guo. Uh, she uh, has been, been with us for many years and then our best curator uh, she was also the uh, deputy uh, director uh, before her retirement a few months ago. <laughs> oh, she... you retired! <laughs> oh, I did not know that. Right, well, okay. you, you couldn't you, you couldn't know that because uh, she's still very active. Uh, I know. She has a lot of right. activities yeah, with yeah, the museum. Yeah. Yeah, 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 <laughs> we yeah, are actually wonderful. still. Uh, planning for another uh, exhibition, exhibition. Uh, in the NCKU Museum. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. The other one, uh, Ms. Zhang, uh, she's uh, with us also for many years, and she also attended the uh, ICON conference this year. Yes. Maybe some of you uh, saw her in Prague. Uh, yes. She's in charge of uh, a special project that uh, the funding got from our Ministry of Culture. Uh, to promote uh, 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 our museum and the international cooperation. Uh, that's why uh, uh, I would like to invite her to join us here. Okay. Um, 
Thank you. Thank you for coming. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. And let, let me uh, share my uh, PPT. Okay, so uh, is the PPT normal, right? It's perfect. Okay. okay, so I would like to talk about uh, our Taiwanese Alliance of University Museums. Uh, this is the picture took uh, uh, in the first uh, general meeting in uh, 2017. Uh, so uh, how, how was this alliance formed uh, and how is it today? That's uh, the main topic I would like to share with you. Uh, Taiwanese Alliance of University Museums right now has 21 uh, uh, formal members. Uh, it was initiated actually in the uh, 2016 University Museum Conference held by uh, NCKU Museum. Uh, we got endorsed uh, by the other four uh, founding members. So we actually founded that uh, uh, on May 3rd, 2017, after uh, all the, uh, these founding members signed the uh, uh, MOU. Uh, our goal is to establish a platform among members for cooperation on uh, personnel training, especially for our own staff, uh, exhibitions, uh, exchanging experience, uh, maybe joint research and uh, uh, some international cooperation. I would like to say that after uh, several years of development, uh, almost all, all the goals uh, have been achieved. Uh, maybe joint research is a little bit weak, but uh, the other parts are uh, quite active right now, even uh, during and after the uh, COVID-19. Um, how was this alliance was formed? Um, it was, it could be traced back to uh, our museum's um, status because NCKU Museum was founded in uh, 2007, 2007 after 10 years of preparation. But uh, since its foundation, we have been thinking, researching and developing some creative strategies for the uh, museum's development. The reason is that uh, um, we don't have a lot of uh, good academic heritage uh, because uh, our, our uh, university history was not a comprehensive university. Instead, it's an uh, uh, engineering college. So uh, many things was, was uh, renovated uh, because pe people tried to pursue uh, new technologies. Uh, so uh, we don't have collections in biology or uh, in anthropology, something like that. Therefore, we have to think about uh, um, how to develop our museum uh, under this uh, environment and uh, uh, with the limited resources. And then um, the idea of forming this uh, University Museum Network was actually studied for several years. Uh, for example, uh, right after our found, uh, found foundation, uh, we have a project from Ministry of Culture in 2009. Uh, it's about a, a great Tainan Museum group because we try to link ourselves to uh, other museums in, in this region. Uh, in Tainan city, there are two uh, national museums, which of course have more resources, um, but we maybe due to uh, that we are in, in university, maybe we are more creative and more uh, willing to do some experiment. So we try to form this group to link uh, big and small museums and we, so we can learn from them or, and also help them. And then um, in 2012, uh, we attended UMAC in Singapore. Uh, thanks for uh, uh, the former uh, UMAC uh, chairman, uh, Professor Jose, uh, who introduced a lot of international uh, uh, friends to us in Singapore. And I would like to also to uh, thank a, a Japanese friend uh, who also introduced many Japanese uh, uh, museum staff to us. And so we learned about uh, uh, their university museum networks. Uh, so this uh, uh, idea was in our mind. Then the next year, 
uh, we, we got a project from Ministry of Culture. So we start to plan, maybe we can have some links to Southeast Asia University Museums. So uh, we, we try to think about that, uh, but that's just uh, on paper only. We don't take any, uh, we didn't take any action. Uh, meanwhile, we also conducting uh, another project which linked uh, 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 campus culture heritages uh, to students. So it's an educational uh, project, but it's a network idea. So we have now a domestic network and also thinking about international network. Uh, but that's still uh, quite a limited. Uh, in 2014, the uh, same project is continuing. So we try to form another uh, network. We call it the Greater Tainan Campus Cultural Heritage Strategic Network, uh, combining those previous ideas. Um, after trying to do this, then um, we posted for about uh, two years because uh, Dr. Guo and I was uh, uh, very focused on the uh, traveling expedition uh, to Prague and uh, Brno in uh, Czech Republic. That's our first uh, big international traveling expedition, I see Taiwan. Uh, so uh, we, we learned a lot from that, but the network is, is post. So uh, after the end of uh, that uh, expedition in 2016, uh, we joined, uh, we attended I ICOM in Milan. Um, we learned a lot uh, about university museum networks in other countries. Uh, very impressively, uh, I, I uh, was moved by uh, Dr. Marek Bukowski, uh, who's the director of, for the Museum of Gdańska Medical University. Uh, he presented uh, how a Polish association of university museums so uh, I was encouraged by him after uh, talking to him and uh, uh, Hubert, the director of Wausau University Museum, uh, who are two of the three founding members of the Polish Association of um, University Museums. So uh, he encouraged us a lot uh, because he knew that uh, uh, we got this idea uh, we also learned from Japanese net, uh, networks of university museums, nationwide and regional, such as Kyoto or uh, Kansai. So um, uh, combine these um, ideas, I've, I got a feeling that uh, it's quite uh, uh, possible, feasible to form a Taiwanese Alliance of uh, University Museums immediately. But of course, uh, uh, we need the friends who would like to join us. So um, uh, fortunately, uh, after we came back from Milan, uh, just a few months later, uh, we have a, a universe, another university museum conference, uh, in, also in, still held in, in uh, NCKU. And uh, at the end of this, this conference, uh, we discuss this idea with uh, other university museums. And uh, uh, some of them agree. So uh, we decided to form it. So after that, I plan to uh, uh, prepare the, the structure of this uh, alliance. So there are some thinking. Uh, I would like to share with you uh, my theoretical background to, to uh, uh, why I can persuade uh, other members in Taiwan to form such a network. Uh, my theory is that we need a multiple level horizontal network support for university museums, such as uh, small or weak museums like us, uh, in order to cross the administration barrier and also uh, connect the museums directly because uh, Traditionally, we have a vertical network uh, or framework that's uh, from administration background. Uh, Ministry of Education uh, deliver resources to university. And the university may be uh, within a campus, you, you may have several uh, university museums. And that's it. That's an administration part. It's a vertical one. So if we don't try to actively connect us to other museums, then we don't have friends, we don't have other supports. 
Okay, so um, the next, uh, uh, what uh, I think we needed to have horizontal networks have three levels. In the micro uh, level, we can form intramural network. So uh, we have done that actually uh, in, in NCKU because different departments have department uh, historical uh, gallery or museums. Uh, after uh, NCKU museum was founded, we try to connect them uh, to support them or to promote them with us. So uh, it's not a, a big deal, uh, we just need to do it. Uh, so that's all right. And uh, we also have a macro network that is international network, such as uh, we join ICOM, UMAC, CMUZ, these uh, 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 committees, uh, or some other universities such as National Taiwan University, who is the, um, a member of the Association of Pacific Rim Universities. So under that structure, they uh, can discuss with other university museums uh, every year. That's also all right, very good. So uh, we can jump to international network, uh, but that's uh, kind of strange because uh, it's, it's either very small or very large. So uh, I think we, we need to uh, enhance the meso level, the medium level network. Uh, that is like uh, what we did before, the regional network, that's one kind. Uh, we also can naturally form a theme network. It's like uh, scholars in professional associations. We have uh, uh, support from uh, other prof professionals who may be in another university, but uh, uh, they can give us some support, uh, either intellectually or uh, uh, friendship or whatever. So uh, for museums, it's, it's the same. Uh, for example, uh, NCKU has a, a, a medical college, so we have um, a medical museum as well. Uh, another university, medical university, uh, or also have medical uh, museum. So they can form this kind of friendship uh, exchanging professional experiences uh, naturally. Uh, we don't need to worry about that. It will grow just like a, a scholars in professional associations. But what we, we do lack is the uh, this university museum network. Uh, we can formally uh, exchange ideas uh, to cross a demonstration barrier uh, to uh, uh, accomplish all the uh, necessary meso networks. So uh, I presented this idea uh, in, in, in this talk in a workshop uh, in two, at the end of 2017 uh, in Taipei. Uh, so during that workshop, uh, there are other members uh, like this idea and, uh, and join us. So uh, in 2017, uh, I, after I prepared the MOU uh, in April, of course I signed first and then I sent it to other uh, four founding museums and then they quickly uh, responded in two days. So uh, after uh, I collect the, all five signatures of directors uh, on May 3rd, we form uh, Taiwanese Alliance of uh, University Museums. And then we agree that we can have the first general meeting and the symposium uh, a workshop uh, in that summer. So uh, on August the 23rd, uh, we get together in NCKU Museum. Uh, these are five uh, representatives uh, from these five founding members. Okay, and then uh, just a few days later, uh, we, we went to UMAC at uh, Helsinki and we start to promote our uh, alliance. So this is the picture uh, taken from the first uh, meeting. Uh, we, we discuss uh, uh, the ideas. Uh, we invite not only directors or uh, managers, we also invite uh, all uh, uh, staffs or researchers uh, or professors who are interested in, in, in participating in the museum work. Uh, but they have to pay their own uh, traffic. We only uh, provide the space and uh, some desserts <laughs> uh, because we are weak and uh, 
and the small museums, we have limited resources. So we just try to form a, a simple way for everyone which can reduce cost. Okay, so everyone signed on the, on the board of this first general meetings uh, uh, title. Okay, and then um, right now we have so many uh, uh, museum, uh, museums as our members distributed uh, in Northern Taiwan's cities and counties uh, in, in media, uh, mid, uh, middle Taiwan and Southern Taiwan. Uh, the general meetings held uh, at the beginning every uh, half a year uh, because we found that uh, maybe in summer vacation, the winter vacation, uh, museum staff are uh, easier to, to travel. Uh, but uh, this, in, Quickly, uh, we found that uh, uh, people have other ideas. So we have more meetings uh, that, than, than just two, twice a, a year. Uh, okay, so uh, before the COVID-19, we have uh, six meetings. Uh, and during the first year of uh, COVID-19, we still had the chance to, to meet. And then during that, uh, 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 in, in that uh, meeting, uh, important, uh, um, agreement was achieved by directors uh, because after two years of uh, cooperation, um, members thought that uh, uh, it seems possible that we can try to move on to form a more um, solid uh, organization. So uh, we started to have a formal secretary uh, office and then maybe after several years later, we can try to form a, a formal association. Uh, so it's still undergoing due to the uh, COVID-19 situation. Uh, of course, uh, this uh, is slowed down, uh, but we try still try to get together uh, just like uh, uh, in other countries, uh, we, we try to form an online meeting. So this is a timeline of members and exhibitions we we uh, joined the uh, uh, works uh, in 2017. Uh, after five founding members, another two joined. In 2018, 12 members joined, and then uh, the, uh, before COVID-19, there are still another two. So now we have 21 members. Uh, experience series is what I would like to explain later. Uh, we try to share costs of exhibitions. So we try to develop a small and easier traveling exhibitions for everyone. It can be uh, funded or uh, developed by only one museum or uh, be developed jointly. Uh, so in 2017 and 18, uh, thanks for, I uh, thank uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Andre Dosto from Czech uh, he offered uh, uh, very good uh, topics from Czech. So we have two traveling exhibitions uh, uh, from uh, his support. And we also try to create our own uh, traveling exhibition. And then uh, you will see that in the uh, next few uh, PowerPoint. So we, we, we do these things and make them traveling be before COVID-19. Uh, and then, um, we got idea about uh, a simultaneous uh, exhibition series. That is uh, every museum uh, have their own uh, exhibition, but we have the same theme. That is sport because uh, in uh, 2020, uh, Tokyo Olympics should be uh, there, but due to COVID-19, it was postponed for one year. So we planned to to uh, have a sports theme to exhibit uh, during the Olympic games. Uh, so we did that actually. And then uh, we also have a workshop later uh, in, in, uh, during the, the Olympic games uh, in 2021. Yeah, and then uh, we, we have a joint uh, uh, booth uh, in two ICOM conference first in 2019 in Kyoto, and then this year in Prague. Uh, these are uh, pictures to, uh, taken from uh, previous meetings. Okay, uh, 
what we cooperate, uh, this is the, what I, I talk about, uh, a cheap, easy traveling exhibi uh, exhibition series. Uh, this one was actually uh, all designed by Czech designers. It was developed uh, in Czech Republic. Uh, they sent us PDF files uh, and instruction how to uh, uh, install and uh, assemble these things. And we send these PDF files to the local copy shop to print it out. And after uh, Dr. Dosto came, he also instructed us how to assemble them uh, in, in right order. So uh, it was th this, this exhibition was opened in National Taiwan Normal University Library uh, in 2017 here. Uh, the representative from Czech Republic came uh, with our deputy uh, minister of culture, uh, who became our ambassador to Ireland right now. Uh, so uh, this is the opening ceremony. And then uh, in that year, it moved to NCKU Museum. Later, uh, you, you can see that we moved to another three museums. So this uh, uh, Exhibition is quite uh, interesting, but it costs very, uh, very. It's very cheap, um, but very creative. We also try to exhibit the real objects, but they are not collections from any university museums. Uh, they are made more like a, a educational object or a duplicate of real objects, and the, uh, we use a lot of. Uh, uh, paper versions like books or, or leaflets, brochure, um, some copies of, of uh, uh, manuscripts, something like that. Uh, so it can be easily traveled. Similarly, uh, NCKU Museum uh, have this universal trip of creation exhibition uh, because one of our uh, chief uh, graduated from uh, St. Petersburg uh, University of Arts. So she had a good connection to Russian and uh, we tried to demonstrate uh, the, the spatial artwork related to, to the uh, space technology developed by, by Russian. Uh, so similarly, we, we had a lot of uh, uh, printing uh, matters, uh, but we still want to have some three-dimensional things. So. I lent my T-shirt, which uh, was about the first uh, space dog, but this was actually purchased in Vienna Technology Museum. Uh, we also bought some uh, rocket models uh, when we visited Russia. Uh, so uh, in addition, we, we made a, a model of a Sputnik. Uh, so something like this, uh, we have exhibition in our museum. Then later we travel this to NCCU in Taipei uh, because they have a Slavic language department. So this uh, 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 becomes another good uh, model because uh, not only uh, using these uh, things exhibited already in NCKU museum, but also they try to uh, add something by themselves because they, they study Russian. So they have uh, good connections. Uh, they invite uh, the representative from Russia to join the, the op opening ceremony and they uh, somehow they got the space food, you know, those uh, in, in toothpaste uh, uh, shape. <laughs> uh, so they got some other things, very interesting. And then later we moved to a private university library, uh, uh, similarly. Okay, uh, this is the third uh, exhibition. Uh, uh, also about the Russian topic, but only uh, two museums. And then uh, this joint theme exhibition series is about the sports, as I said. So you can see the posters from uh, different uh, university museums. This is ours. Uh, it's about uh, the ideas of sports spirit. Uh, NTU, National Time University, uh, tried to, to uh, demonstrate the, their uh, honorary rugby teams. Uh, other uh, uh, universities demonstrated their own special topic related to sports. Uh, of, of course, some uh, universities are about the sports itself. So 
uh, they have better things. They have athletes over there. Uh, you can also see uh, there are even a, a Olympic uh, education exhibition about that. Uh, and very interestingly, National Central University uh, uh, Opera Museum uh, also joined this because they think uh, uh, this uh, 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 martial arts opera in, in, in traditional uh, opera is also kind of a sport. So they can also join us, even they are a, a, a museum more, more in uh, art uh, field. So uh, it's quite uh, interesting and people can, can share this together. And then we uh, uh, have the uh, opportunity uh, to uh, take a, a ICOM conference uh, to promote other uh, members in our alliance because NCK Museum is uh, relatively rich than other uh, public or private uh, university museum. Uh, and we have some experience. So uh, we had, we, we tried to uh, uh, form a, a booth in, in Kyoto uh, conference, but we would like to bring uh, our friends together with us. So you can see the design of this booth. We have two colors. On the left-hand side, the, uh, in the deeper uh, color, that's about NCK Museum. On the right-hand side, this half, we introduce uh, other members of uh, Taiwanese Alliance of University Museums. Uh, and uh, on the table, uh, these are, are the brochures from every members. So uh, we found that it's, uh, they, they are quite popular. So, so people ask uh, uh, a lot of, about their, their, their uh, topics and uh, what they did. So I think it's quite a successful. We are not only successfully promote ourselves, but also promote our friends. Uh, this is the picture taken uh, uh, during the conference for all the members who joined uh, uh, the uh, conference. Uh, so it's not only from uh, NCKU, but also from National Taiwan University and uh, maybe another university. So that's our first experience to have this joint booth uh, in ICOM conference. Uh, so I think it, everyone think it's successful. So uh, three years later, we, we also got the support from our Ministry of Culture uh, to uh, set up uh, an, again the similar booth in Prague. So that's uh, what uh, uh, most of you uh, saw in Prague. Uh, so we, we do similar things with different uh, uh, design this time. And, and this time uh, you can see that uh, our director is here. Uh, Martha is here. Uh, this is uh, Dr. Guo. <laughs> okay, so uh, we are happy that uh, 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 another uh, joint booth uh, could uh, take everyone uh, in the alliance to to Prague and have an opportunity to uh, be introduced to international friends. And about the promotion, we uh, have the first uh, uh, pamphlet in 2017. Uh, as I said, we we had the first joint uh, general meeting on August the 23rd, uh, but this was. Uh, printed out uh, within one week, uh, so that I can I could bring them to Helsinki uh, to put uh, on, on the table of uh, UMAC. Um, so you can see there are only five members. And the next year we have twelve members, so we we have to update our brochure. And then 2019, more members are distributed in Taiwan. Uh, 2022, uh, there are more members. Uh, we have a uh, Facebook, but this is not uh, uh, open to public. It's a private uh, club uh, because it, we, we we try to uh, build this Facebook page for internal idea exchange, or people can promote their activities uh, to other members. 
Uh, so only staffs uh, and uh, maybe professors with uh, 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 cooperation relationship with uh, uh, their university museum can join this. Uh, maybe we will consider to, uh, to create another Facebook uh, which can uh, be open to the uh, public later. Uh, so that's about uh, uh, how we formed and what we did together. Uh, thank you very much. And if you have thank any you. questions, we can discuss. I do. I have many, 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 many. And I didn't, um, it was wonderful and so interesting because um, because uh, I, I didn't realize, my fault, obviously, I didn't realize how long this has been going on. I thought uh, it was something more recent, certainly not since Helsinki. I didn't, I didn't realize that. So uh, I realized it in Kyoto for the first time because we had a meeting, a joint meeting, remember, between Taiwanese museums and the Kyoto network of university museums. I think that happened. And um, that's when I really uh, realized that uh, you were or getting organized and uh, doing things together. So I think this is fantastic. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, perhaps you can now, um, uh, you know, um, switch off the, the PowerPoint so that we can see each other faces. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because it's more interesting. And I, I, I would like to start for those of us who don't know so much about the landscape of university museums in Taiwan, more generally, not so much the Alliance. Perhaps, can you tell us how many public universities there are in general? Okay, it doesn't have to be a definite number. And also, if there has been any survey of university museums uh, in Taiwan, all over Taiwan, you know? So how many university museums there are? So that we have a, an idea of the scale of the thing. Okay. Uh, there are 170 universities in Taiwan right now. It will, the size will, sh will shrink later, but right now we have so many. Uh, but it's hard to say how many university museums university we have museums. Mm -hmm. because uh, of the definition. Sometimes, yeah. uh, well, university history gallery is that part of a kind of exactly. a museum, exactly. or the there are problem. some some uh, department uh, uh, collections, which is very good, um, but they don't have a formal formal yeah. organization. Existence. Yeah. 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 So it's harder to to define that. So mm -hmm. what do we do is. Uh, who would like to join the Alliance must have a formal organization yes. in their university structure. Uh, mm -hmm. We don't care which level, but they must be a formal organization. Right. That's the basic requirement. But some uh, university museum uh, didn't join us. They do okay. have a very good uh, museum, uh, but for some reason they, they have not joined us, especially mm -hmm. art museums in, in uh, oh. the universities, they have their own idea. So yeah. maybe later they will form their own network. I don't know. Uh, that's interesting. interesting too. That's interesting yeah. indeed. And um, another thing, perhaps it's a job, a task of the Alliance to find out how many, like the Polish Association did, you know, one of the things, one of the first tasks they did was to, you know, establish the criterion because you, we know that uh, things fluctuate and what the University A calls a museum is not the same as University B calls a museum, which is not the same as the Ministry of Culture calls a museum. So it can get complicated. But if you establish clear criterion, you can survey the country, the 170 universities, you can find out and have a picture, a, a more global picture. And that could be something that the Alliance could do, a catalog, for example, of um, university museums. Uh, it would be very nice because, the, um, because uh, yeah, because, you know, universities are so volatile and sometimes 
museums are open and then they are closed and then they exist <laughs> and then they don't exist, you know. <laughs> so it would be nice. But I, I was also curious before we get into the alliance proper. I'm also curious about this relation with the Ministry of Culture, because as you said, the administration is the same everywhere in the world. Universities, higher education depends on education, Ministry of Education, Ministry of Research, Ministry, it's a, the names change, Ministry of Higher Education, Science and so on. But it's different from culture, right? Right. And right. you said that right from the beginning, even before the alliance was created, you had you established you university museums and CKU, but not only uh, established relations with other museums, and also you get funded, for example, to go to Kyoto and to go to Prague from the Ministry of Culture. How does it work? Yes. Because I mean, university museums everywhere would love to know how to get funds from culture. But usually they say, oh, no, that's education. That's not our job. You know, so tell us a little bit, uh, share with us your experience about that. OK, um, I think just like uh, other countries, the Ministry of Culture would like to support any any activities related to culture, no matter who you are, but you must have demonstrated some um, possible uh, credit or or uh, functions um, they would like to see. Uh, so actually in, in Taiwan, uh, there was a call for proposal from Ministry of Culture every year to support uh, uh, small museums and uh, to support the local governments who mm -hmm. will um, guide the local museums. Uh, right. No matter what kind of your museum belongs to city government or private mm -hmm. museum or belongs to Ministry of, of uh, Education, whatever, mm -hmm. uh, they don't mm -hmm. care about that. Uh, so they have two uh, supporting systems. We have to write the proposals and to be right. reviewed. Right. Um, to be honest, uh, at the beginning, uh, just about maybe more than 15, years ago, the competition uh, among universities or education uh, systems to uh, for, for this uh, funding from Ministry of Culture is not so, so harsh. Uh, mm -hmm. So we have creative ideas. We have uh, some uh, feasible steps. So uh, we persuade them that we can mm -hmm. do some job and then gradually, uh, we have some some good uh, results, so they believe us, and yeah. they, therefore uh, they also encourage us in that call for proposal mm -hmm. to have mm -hmm. international cooperation or exchanging ideas. Uh, of course, in in universities, uh, professors are are quite uh, are familiar with international conference, uh, right. and uh, we we would like to see uh, exhibitions. Uh, of course, uh, no matter we move out or moving some other from other countries, so we right. try to do that gradually from small one, from uh, 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 friends from other countries uh, mm -hmm. at the beginning. So uh, that's that's the story. We we started from small steps and then gradually become bigger and bigger, and then that's after fantastic. the mm -hmm. after the formation of the alliance. We told other university museums, you can do that too. So exactly. uh, mm -hmm. they, they joined us. They, uh, I, I think a Ministry of Culture would like to see that because uh, although the resources are limited, but uh, now they are more active uh, members. So right. uh, it's good for everyone. Sure, sure. And do universities, so you kind of broke the wall of recognition for others to go after you, right? So uh, yeah, yeah. you need, university museums sometimes need to fight to be recognized, not only in the university, but also in the museum sector in general, because they considered, yes. you know, didactic or old fashioned or traditional and so on. And so you did that by entering the competitions, you um, you know, broke barriers for others to follow. And that's, uh, I think, a very important point. But um, the, do universities 
uh, does the NCKU, for example, receive money funding directly for museums outside research and outside teaching? You mean university receive money from our museum? Uh, I think the income is very, very limited. We yeah. got money from the university more. Actually, yeah. we, we spent a lot of, uh, sorry, uh, most of our budget is from the university. The university. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the the outside projects like from University yeah. of uh, Ministry of Culture or yeah. some research projects mm -hmm. uh, from, from National Science Council, something like that. Uh, but uh, some, maybe some, we got a very limited uh, income of uh, selling books. Yeah, uh, maybe maybe only uh, the ro royalty is very limited every year, <laughs> right. so it's nothing. It's nothing to, yeah, that, to the it, money it, we got it, from it, university. Yeah, yeah. it's it kind of irrelevant compared to because in most countries, what happens is that um, there are university museums, but the university, for example, my university, okay, in Lisbon. We get the money from the university, but the university itself does not get the money from government to pay for our museum. Okay, so mm -hmm. the money has to come from somewhere else, you know, like from, you know, from teaching or from research. And that's how we get financed. Okay. We don't get direct money for museums and heritage from the Ministry of Higher Education. And that's very rare in some countries. I was wondering if in Taiwan you you get you got paid uh, from the government. The universities got paid from the government direct funding for uh, museums, collections, heritage, and so on. Yeah, uh, our income have two parts, just as you said. One part uh, which can support the minimum wages or uh, 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 electricity Stop. or utility. Stop yeah. uh, operational yeah. costs. Operational costs. Right. Mm -hmm. The basic operation cost uh, that's from directly from from the university budget, mm -hmm. uh, because we are a formal organization right. uh, in the university, so they have to do that. But yeah. for uh, some some development development or uh, new ideas, bigger or activities. Exhibitions. Exhibitions, exhibitions, programs, right. and so on. Right, mm -hmm. that we have to write proposals uh, yeah. to get money from university and they have right. money from teaching or research or, or special projects uh, or some donation too. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And to we cover, can also, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So we have two, two different sources. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's why it's very important to diversify and to have this opportunity that the Ministry of Culture provides to any museum in Taiwan. I find that brilliant, really. It's very good. I wish there were more countries, uh, more ministries of culture supporting <laughs> museums, because usually they only support their own, you know. That's right, right. <laughs> but, um, and of course, coll our colleagues, we can all join the conversation and, you know, you can uh, add also something that you feel like. Uh, please, it's not a dialogue only between me and uh, Jordan Chen. But um, I wanted to, I found that, slide that you showed about the different levels of networks very very illustrative you know because indeed uh, there are different levels different objectives there's the, what you call the intramural network which are sometimes called the local network at yes. university level and then you have the national level, which can have many dimensions, thematic or, you know, just uh, to, for lobbying and so on, which you call the meso level. And then there's, of course, the international level. I would like, from your experience in Taiwan and from, uh, you know, or your reflection that you did with your colleagues in Taiwan, what are the most, the, the, the most important differences between these three levels. Uh, what, because one local, the objectives of organize, getting yourselves organized at, at NCKU is different from getting yourselves organized at Taiwan level, and then even different 
from your Mac level, right? So how, what are the benefits? What are the, how did you, you know, target? What are your targets? Well, for the intramural level, uh, our goal is quite simple. We try to connect every possible unit who has cultural heritages. And so we can help them or try to bring them to our museum or bring them to to a bigger levels to promote them. So that's uh, our our job and our role in the university. So that's simple and and uh, easy and it can be supported by the president, by the administrations, and by every department. That that's right. clear. Right. Uh, for international level, I think everyone is clear. Uh, so what we can get from UMAC, what we can learn from each other, but it's sometimes it's not so easy to have big international no. projects. No. Mm -hmm. right? uh, so exchanging ideas is easier, uh, mm -hmm. but we have to face the cultural difference and try to adjust. Uh, we, we, we learn, but sometimes we cannot copy others' uh, ideas. Uh, we, no. have, we just try to be inspired by, by others. Activity. Yeah. So that's why I think. And, uh, the, let the me so just interrupt. Is... Let me just interrupt you there because I think that in your case, it was very important the exchange with Andrej, Andrej uh, Dostal, and the bilateral. You know, instead of a kind of very big uh, uh, network or where you know the cultural differences and so on, you focused uh, for contingent reasons with the relation with the Czech Republic, not Czechia, not the, the Czechia, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, you focus on that. And I think that that opened a lot of avenues of uh, ideas, inspiration, uh, which can be an example for others. You know, when we attend conferences, perhaps it's not so much, of course we get inspired by the talks we listen to, but it's more about exchanges more at the more, you know, directed, more focused level, right? Don't you think? Yeah. Uh, so, so I, I I thank him a lot because he did help us a lot and got uh, good ideas, and that uh, for this long term relationships, we learn from each other. And uh, he also visited us. I hired him as a, a visiting uh, yeah. Scott researcher. Mm -hmm. uh, we do research together, and mm -hmm. so. Uh, we can try. We can we can um, develop every aspect about the museum from management, to exhibition, research, uh, mm -hmm. every kind of things, and uh, discuss the cultural difference. How different yeah. uh, countries or the two different cultures could, yeah. could influence the, the the work. So uh, that's why we can make more things done together. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. a similar mode could be used because later, uh, due to the close uh, relationship with Japan, we yeah. can have uh, also similar relationship with relations. Example, yeah. Yeah. Kyoto University uh, yeah. or other university museum. Right. Uh, right. So other university could also develop things like this. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, sorry, but I interrupted you. You were going to the other level, right? You were going to explain yeah. that. The, the meso level, uh, that's what we lack of. So uh, that's why we needed this alliance to, to actively exchange ideas. So every uh, in, in every general meeting or uh, uh, workshops, uh, I found that uh, directors, uh, professors, and the staffs, uh, they 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 find uh, uh, they could find uh, the, their their talking partners easily naturally to exchange ideas and uh, uh, we we were inspired by others and sometimes we can do things together sometimes we just uh, learn from each other so that that becomes yeah. a really good support and right. we can also get together to gain more resources from Ministry of Culture, for example. Exactly, because I think that that's a very important point that we see in other countries like Poland, but also Mexico and um, France, for example, or Germany, is the, the capability together at national level, so to speak, at meso level, as you say, and the more you are, the better. The, the better you can lobby, in the good sense, of yep. course, the more you can lobby, 
uh, as a group, as a collective, your government and uh, you know society reach society in a more um, you know efficient way. I think that's a very important point that you raise. Yes. So even the association of our um, museums, uh, which is uh, the, they they have their booth in in uh, every ICOM conference, very big a booth, but we never join them. Uh, they they invite actually every museum, domestic uh, museum to join them, but we mm -hmm. think it's better to have our own. I mean, university museums have our own booth because we we have special laws. Yeah, but we we like yeah. to be their neighbor so yeah. people can yeah. know Taiwan better <laughs> yeah yeah that's wonderful no and you're brilliant at uh at the level of you know ex 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 exhibiting and explaining uh, yourself so that it's it's very it works i i just wanted to um, is a is the alliance formal so there's an mou but do people do museums pay Annual quota to belong no, no. or no? So no, it's, it's just the MOU, mm -hmm. right? Right. So so there's no fees. It's not a, a formal organization, right? So, uh, right. Actually, this, I I remember in the second year, someone mm -hmm. told me or asked me uh, about uh, whether we we would like to become a a, a form a formal a formal association. association. I, I, mm -hmm. I thought that the timing has not reached yet. Yes. Um, so maybe later, yeah, it will yeah. be with more maturity. We maybe with more members and so on, right? Maybe yeah. with yeah. more members and with more uh, more uh, maturity. So, and what are the? Okay, forget COVID nineteen. We all know it's a problem, and now it's getting better and so on. But what are the main challenges? Uh, what are the main objectives now after COVID? Of the alliance of uh, Taiwanese university museums, what uh, what are what are the topics in your agenda? Uh, because I uh, my director term uh, ended before the COVID nineteen, so yes. I didn't I didn't join the the general conference after that. Mm -hmm. Maybe Dr. Guo can tell me tell us more about that. <laughs> what what other university museums thought about the future after yeah. COVID nineteen? Because yeah. we have already established some cooperation working mode to have mm -hmm. joint exhibition, joint promotion, to exchange ideas. In Japan, with... there's Japan. You mentioned Japan already, right? The collaboration with Japan. Yeah, that's uh, especially some professors has good relationship with uh, with the Japanese scholars. Dr. Go visited the uh, Kyoto University Museum uh, for half a year. Uh, so something like that, maybe, yeah, Dr. Kuo, could you share your idea? Uh, regarding the uh, visiting in Kyoto University, uh, it's different idea and a different purpose. Uh, at that moment, I uh, was trying to research their collection regarding the uh, uh, Taiwanese of origin needs collection. So uh, it's not like uh, the alien of the Taiwan uh, Museum, Taiwan University Museum. Uh, okay. I think the uh, major uh, connection maybe uh, is the uh, different university, uh, they have uh, uh, like a uh, uh, history of the museum, study the right. history of the museum. Maybe right. the uh, major topic we can connect together. We can and, uh, study work together. together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, May yeah maybe that topic, yes. There's also, I, I find from what I know, because I don't know much, but from what I understand, the systems in Japan, the higher education systems in Japan and Taiwan are, are similar. There's these comprehensive universities, and then you have the segmented thematic universities. And so, which is something in Europe, we don't have much. We're beginning to have more, but uh, we have more comprehensive universities. So you go to the University of Prague and it has everything from theology to sports to everything. 
And uh, so I think that that's also a way to discuss and reflect between countries that have the same systems, uh, how university museums, you know, were created, how they generated and uh, how they are organized and so on, and how they can um, fulfill their goals, their, their roles uh, in contemporary society, because I think that's a different, a specific, a specific issue that you can discuss together, among so many others, because research in itself, the fact you can do research, I mean, research is free, you can, you have, you know, whatever question yeah. that you yeah. want to research. And just the fact that there's a channel for collaborating in research that will later benefit exhibitions, because uh, that's the point, you know, we are researchers in universities, in university museums. So ideally, our outcomes are going to be presented to the public. That's the difference of being in a department of a university and being in a museum. So I think that to connect exchange of students, for example, that's also a thing that uh, could be interesting. Uh, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I think you've been doing a brilliant, brilliant job. And um, perhaps it would be also interesting, if I may suggest, the regional level, okay? That when I say regional is the, go back to the idea that you had when you went to Singapore and you were mm -hmm. in, um, and Hugues de Ressé, I was the chair of UMAC and there was discussions about a regional uh, Southeast Asia, Asian university museums. That would be amazing because there are already some networks yeah. and it yeah. would be kind of a meta level, mm -hmm. kind of a, almost a federation, an alliance of networks. Yes. And didn't have to meet every year, could meet uh, every three years, for example, you know, it would be very, very nice. What do you think? Yeah, I think, it, uh, thank for, uh, thank COVID-19. Now the online meeting is easier for everyone. Yeah, yeah. So maybe uh, this can be achieved easier than before to, mm -hmm. to form a regional network, especially many countries already have a national net network exactly. for university museums. So. Uh, for example, this year I just presented uh, uh, one of my old papers to a, in a science festival uh, held by Thailand's National Science Museum. It's about uh, popular science. Uh, right. So, so that's a good chance because uh, I found that it's, it's similar to UMAC. It's a small UMAC. Yeah. yeah. It's a small, a mini, a mini UMAC. Yeah. Asia, UMAC Asia kind of thing. Yeah, so I think it, it will gradually become real. <laughs> yeah, I would really would love to see that. It would be wonderful. And I'm sure, look, now you have a chair of UMAC who is in that part of the world. So it, it, it also, Andrew Simpson is in Australia. So, you know, it, it can even be... Uh, including Australia, New Zealand, you know, there are networks there too. So it would be wonderful to see it really. I uh, encourage you vividly to, you know, put your hands into that. Well, thank you so much, uh, Yang Horn Cheng and uh, Mei Fan Ku and uh, Ying Ching Chang. Thank you so much for your time and for your knowledge about Taiwan University Museums, and um, I hope the director gets well soon. And I send him my regards, my best regards. Maybe we can talk another time uh, with a different uh, issue. And uh, look, uh, you've been doing a wonderful job, and uh, thank you so much on behalf of UMAC for this uh, sharing and for these um, lessons that I'm sure everyone can uh, learn something. Much and transfer to their own, uh, you know, situation, context, background, and so on. Because so although, yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, because although university museums are so different all over the world, there is a common, there is a common, you know, glue that uh, binds us all together. There are some issues that are really specific of mm -hmm. us. So thank you again. 
and um, I hope to see you in Taiwan, in uh, where is Dubai, Dubai next time, <laughs> Dubai or whatever, wherever in the world. Thank you so yes, much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Too. Thank you. It's our honor. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.